this. Look at the sunrise. Well, I'm up. Look at it. Look all around me. I really should get up earlier for sunrises. What's this cup doing here? Oh well. Here's Adam. Say hi. Hi. You've got one of the rare Sphere Standard models just like us. <laughs> We're one of the foolish people that decided to go without a bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't be able to live in it. I think with a kid without it. Uh, without, yeah. You know, it's just too much too much open space without that bathroom. So it's right. Perfect. And you guys currently just have one, but you're planning on having a second. Yeah. I maybe. think it's okay with one kid to go without the bunk bed, but yeah, anything more than one kid, I think it's going to feel cramped in there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we, we, we love it and we don't miss the bathroom. Uh, you know, we just kind of find, I think the bathroom was such that like, because I had, we sat in them in the store at the, on the, like on the floor at the Casita factory and. Uh, you know, I, I literally sat in the bathroom and I thought, okay, this is pretty snug for me. I have pretty broad shoulders yeah. and it's not a space I'd want to spend any time anyways. Right. So uh, we're not losing anything. Maybe the closet, but... I uh, mean, the whole concept of living small is that everything has to have multiple purposes. Right. To have a bathroom just be a bathroom yeah. is like an automatic... <laughs> like you know defeat of that mantra yeah right? yeah it probably would have been a lot of storage probably in there instead yeah of that's true space. right because then but then you like having to shuffle every time you wanted to yeah. use the space yeah so which has ended up like our shower and the airstream ended up being that way really our storage. airstream shower was storage and every time we wanted to shower <laughs> everything there would out. just be stuff all over the hallway <laughs> all over the beds and yeah just to shower yeah so you couldn't know, be more pleased with this setup yeah and being able to find showers especially if you're in the u.s it's pretty easy yeah um when you bought yours i think you sent me your work order i did and ours is pretty much like the same yeah you right? guys you guys got an upgraded fan from what but that was no right different. but it was just they the didn't standard. even tell us that yeah. that's just it's the model they switch to yeah now. yeah right yeah, I right, so your fan's different. You put in a fan cover. I don't even know if, if we did anything different, uh, you know, from options, because neither one of us got gray tanks. Right, no gray um, tanks. We didn't know if we wanted to get solar, or I mean, not solar, um, AC or not, just because we had gone without AC for so yeah. long. I think it would have been a mistake to not do AC. Yeah. But your AC is a little different. It is. You yeah, went ahead we and got the older yeah potentially more reliable model potentially more yeah fewer moving parts uh yeah, was talked that's into always it better by the folks at little house customs um and uh you know i think we did i don't know if you guys got the uh the external shower but we've used that yeah quite we a got bit. that too so um, so little house customs they are uh like a custom shop that specializes in casitas right yeah it's my semi-retired dude yeah who, um are they pretty active on the forums yes yeah huge. probably where they get most of their yeah, work i think so and they, you know, they, they, they stay pretty booked up, especially this time of year, but um, fantastic people, yeah. real friendly, real sweet. Um, and you go to their shop, which is on their property, and they have a little hangout area and stuff so right. that you can kind of work and kick back, or they'll tell you what, what's in the area to go check, explore while they There do. are, um, like in the DFW area. Yeah, sort of like... Um, east of it, right? East and, and north a bit, so it's probably an hour and a half out of Dallas. Okay. Yeah. But it's not like in, in, in town, it's no. definitely out in the country. Yeah, it's out, it's out in the country. Cool, so they did all the customized work that we're gonna see here. Yeah, right? we, we had such a tight time frame when we picked up our casita, we had already had a date scheduled to be there the following Monday, picked it up on Friday, went there on Monday, just to get um, everything done so that, because it was in our home, so. so they had, so you had it scheduled months uh -huh. ahead, right? Yeah, I had it scheduled months ahead. Because yeah. I had called them when we picked up our casita just to see what the scheduling looks like. As of today, their their first opening is in May. <laughs> That's bonkers. So it's either they are so busy or they just don't want to work out. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of both. Maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> yeah. They do have a great little tricked out store though, so they have all kinds of 
gadgets, like any sort of exterior kinds of things yeah. that they keep in stock. So you it's like a hobby that they turn into an income stream. Exactly. Right? Yeah, and they, they have a, a kit that they used to take with them to all the rallies um, that they would do work there. But I think they've kind of cut that out. And you said that they have a second location in Arizona. Yeah, they're somehow linked. And I think they're, they're just they're very friends. casual as well with yeah. their like working style. Yeah. So parts wise. They make some of it at Little House. Yeah. Others are made from another place outside of Fort Worth, right? Yeah, yeah I think they might be like uh, up in Louisville or something. Some, that Louisville, area. I think yeah, you're right. Yeah, yep. up in, near Dallas, the kind of the eastern or the northern part. Right. Um, and I think those are the guys that had the weld shop that do the fabrication for this part. Uh huh. And this sort of, this is the propane cover. And they're called Orbital Machine Works or something I like that? I think so, yeah. And you can get to them at perfectcasita.com. Perfect Casita. So, from what I understand, Perfect Casita is like their retail channel for all the Casita parts that they make okay. at the machine shop. Yeah. And I think their machine shop does this and also does just work behind Yeah, I think, right? so. I think so. I think so. So this is a, what do they call this? Yeah, so I think it's like the, it's the propane rack. Um, it's designed for um, generator storage up top where uh -huh. they can integrate one of their base plates and lock into some of the more common generators. So you can store it here and use it here. Yep. It yep. never moves. Yeah, we we have a generator that doesn't fit with one of those bases. So right. they don't make a plate for it yet. Right, right. And we could store it up here and just use tie downs and maybe lock it up. Uh, but we just kind of keep this space open, use it for, you know, uh, if we're leaving, we'll put our gray tank up here to, to take it and dump it, or we'll put firewood up here. So it's just kind of stuff that mm -hmm. we want to store outside. It's a good utility platform. Oh, yeah, yeah. Usually it's empty. Yeah. Um, and that's nice because the standard box that comes with the casita is pretty bad. <laughs> it's, it's pretty. It's, it's just a piece yeah. of plastic with a bungee cord on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, it's not And glamorous. it kind of flops around when you drive. Yeah, yeah. And I think with this installation, they uh, they flip the regulator in, in the hoses the other way, it looks like. Because yeah, I think so. my face is front. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I think. They mentioned something to me about when they were installing about why they do it that way. Uh, it's probably for clearance. Yeah, or maybe like less stress in the yeah, houses and stuff. I think so. So it's bolted to these mounting plates. Yeah, they weld the mounting plates on uh -huh. right, right in here, and you can see the bead that they do. It's pretty heavy duty. Right. Um, and then they this one on this side. Um, yeah. So if you were to buy this from Orbital Machine Works or Perfect Casita, it'll come with a kit to bolt on, uh, like U bolts. That okay. Bolt through these just right holes. to the frame. Yeah. Right. So it would sit maybe two inches lower. Yeah, I think so. It's still pretty good, but it's a it's a pretty do-it-yourself job. Then if you don't need the welding. Yeah, yeah, and um, we got this initially because we envisioned maybe carrying extra fuel on the yeah. jerry cans on the side. Yeah. I did. Yeah, ask. that's a great idea. This is they, a good mounting platform yeah. for anything. Yeah, Shovels maybe. Yeah, any of that stuff. He said it's more than stout for for carrying that weight on the for side. Sure. So. They also did the scissor jacks. Yeah, so we have the ball scissor jacks, uh, kind of you'd say all four corners. Right, because um, stock, there are no jacks in the front. Right, right, yeah. So if you can look at those, um, what they do is they weld on the, the mounting plates, and then uh -huh. these guys just bolt right on. And they do that because some folks have maybe pulled off without. So this is the plate that they welded on. Exactly. They have four, hole, four holes in it, and yeah. then they match up to the mounting plates and the jacks. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And with with all four down, it's really rock steady, and uh, yeah. you can um, even with just the two jacks in the rear. And if you're hitched up, you can change tires. Uh, just right, you can jack jacks it back up. You can. I mean, these are like five thousand pounds. Each five thousand each. Yeah, each one. Right. Each one. See, it is like twenty five hundred pounds. So yeah, just one. <laughs> like if it's centered at the yeah. perfect spot, it could <laughs> raise it up. Yeah. So it's cool. Been, yeah. So you got four of those. Two on you two on each side, front and back. Yep. And they mount the front ones, yeah, as you can see, at an angle, which right. gives it a little bit more stability. Gives it like a diagonal. Uh -huh. Yeah, a little lateral support, Flitting. so it's nice. This side is more or less the same, except you put these little critter yeah. traps. This, I've, I've had experience with uh, digging dirt dauber nests out of a furnace before, and so um, I have these on the furnace vents and then also on the water heater vent. Yeah. Probably not as important on the water heater because you can easily access that, but right. if something were to get in but here, these, you have to drill the rivets out. Yeah, right, that could be a pain. And scissors, scissor jacks in the back again, mm -hmm. and one big notable difference is the size of your tires. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, because 
one of the things I wanted with our power wagon, I wanted as much clearance as possible. Um, and uh, it, we've got it such that it kind of rides at the same height as the truck. Yeah, And um, right. how we got there was it, we ordered the, the Casito with the high lift axle. Right, which is just a option. steeper angle on the torsion bars. Deeper angle, and then it comes with 15 inch wheels over the 14 inch wheels. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, and uh, cool, yeah, because we have that too. Yeah, yeah, we got that. But and, so, yours uh, is that plus plus a three inch spacer that's also made by Orbital Machine Works. Okay, um, and then along with that, we added the shock kit. So, it's a uh, shock kit, you know, right? That comes with it's just a bolt on kit for the, the axle. Mm -hmm. it comes with the, the shock kit, on. doesn't change the height, but nope. it changes the ride exactly, it smooths things out a little bit. From what I'm told, I have no experience with it pre-shock. So. Yeah, I think there's a video that I've seen. Yeah, that mm -hmm. sort of sells it pretty convincingly. Yeah, and so that gave us enough clearance to go from the standard 28 or 29 inch tires to 31 inch tires. Um, and I compared it yesterday just by standing and then measuring to where it comes up on my leg. Yeah. And then walking it over the mine. I think we're talking about this much difference. Okay, so four between yours four to five mine. inches. Yeah. Yeah. So it's four inches higher than mine mm -hmm. and five and a half inches higher than the non high lift yeah, stock. So. Yeah. And, cool. Um, so aftermarket these are great. I mean, so these these tires match in <laughs> design but not size. Yeah, that's no real reason. It's not really necessary to have all terrain tires no. in the back, but, but it looks cool. <laughs> it, yeah, I mean, it looks awesome. But I think it's great though that you have more volume. Yeah, yeah. Wanted so if a you're gonna deflate volume. to go on beaches and drive on sand, and more surface it's area, gonna be a lot better. Yeah, and also just over like washboard roads, it does smooth. You have out, the shocks. Yeah. That's gonna help already. Mm -hmm. but on top of that, you could deflate the tires. Yeah, it it's should, gonna ride should like. Help. Yeah, it should help quite a bit. It's gonna ride very smooth in there. No broken no. plates or dashes <laughs> in there. Yeah, the only thing on this is we added just the the vents. You know, the vent. I mean, not the vents, but the uh, lens covers for you know for reduced bugs maybe um, okay but it's what do i have on mine yeah they like clear. that yeah you'll okay so you have ones. the amber lens mm -hmm. yeah cool it's a four dollar right i see so they're the bugs are less attracted to the yeah. color that's probably why because we have we have that on the four-wheel camper yeah yeah and i always wonder why are these <laughs> not white but yeah. they probably thought about the bug thing too yeah so cool. This is a lifesaver if you don't want to have this part of your camper smash into the door. Yeah. <laughs> Which if you catch it in the gust of wind, it'll be yeah. that. Okay, so a few more mods here. So some of the same mods that we saw on the other side. Yeah. Tires, wheels, shocks, lift, jacks. Yep. But the difference that you have here compared it's, to stock. Yeah, so I didn't stock you know your power cord your 30 amp cord gets stored mm -hmm. right in this compartment and there's this little gate that opens yeah exactly the cord comes out and and they'll sell a little rubber grommet that will keep the bugs out but uh -huh. um i, I kind of like the idea of just having a surface mount uh you know sort of right power. and you can store the core somewhere else yeah you can store it somewhere else you have less ingress of critters and so, so in here now it's just empty space. It's just empty space. You can just store stuff in there through that door. Yep. Um, or, I, you know, you can put your uh, cell booster and, and your inverter, you know, oh, yeah. know freeze up room for some electronic yeah. hardware. So that's kind of the thought there. Mm -hmm. um, this is the vent I'm talking about, mentioned out earlier. It's just right. A, it just matches the other side, but it may not be necessary. Right. And then this is uh, just kind of a, it's direct wired right now to my battery. Well, mm -hmm. or actually I, I have a, um, I should have brought my keys out, but... I do have a, a quick disconnect for the battery kit um, in there that I added, and then this com it comes with a terminal block, and this goes wires in directly to the terminal block so that I can is use it my. Is fused or? Um, it is not fused. Not fused. Um, my, I have a fuse on my inline solar. Okay. So, right. Yeah. So you don't need so, a fuse there. Yeah. The so panel. you could tap in. You could use this to charge through an external solar panel, you yeah. can also tap in to get 12 volt out. Exactly, right? yeah, and this is a standard SAE connector, so you can use your battery tender or whatever. Yeah. Um, but my, I do, I'm probably going to move my solar charge controller inside. And then just run it in line yeah, inside. Yeah, just run it in line inside, and then that way I can just have multiple panels outside yeah. if I want to. So. Right, daisy chain them or mm -hmm. run yeah. them in parallel. Yeah, so they'll, I'll change up the wiring, but it's all very accessible. The way they added the, the, the terminal block, Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, this is the. So it's riveted to the side, mm -hmm. and that's like an Anderson 
connector? Yep, it is, it is. And you can see the terminal block that came with it. Yeah. And uh, this guy just wires right into there. Cool. Um, so that would have to change if we if we do the solar charge controller in here. So somewhere. have they? They didn't connect the solar preloader to it yet, though, right? No, I think it's coiled up down there. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Exactly. I don't think you want to do it because it'll just short out. Yeah. The river ends up on the other end. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. That's the. You could do it. this yourself easily you enough, I think. You could. And then the tray. I've never taken the tray out yet. I'm assuming you take this butterfly nut off. And it just slides? That's, yeah, I think so. You just take this guy off and then the bracket will come out. Uh -huh. And um, I think they have that Group 31 battery um, yeah. option. Yeah, same, same w width but just deeper. Yeah, so you just make a different bracket or just basically you drill another hole and you can do that on your own. Yeah, that's cool. the only difference. So the, the quick disconnect, it might have been 80 bucks option or uh -huh. something like that. But it's it's nice because... They had multiple styles. Instead of doing a switch, we just have a manual uh, terminal. Well, it's just kind of basically a heavy-duty connector that disconnects. You can pull the battery all the way out. Whereas okay, right. The, whereas, like, if from the factory, you, you have, have to undo the bolts or the yeah. nuts on the battery, and then yeah, and then ease it out a little bit, remove the and wires remove from the more. battery, and then set it down. And this will reach making all sure the you're not shorting things out exactly in the process. Yeah, so it simplifies the battery maintenance if you don't upgrade from your lead acid. So right. But even if you do upgrade, I mean, that's still the place where you would put your battery. Absolutely. There's yeah. not that many places to put them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think um, I've heard of some folks that pull out the water heater and they'll run large, more batteries in, in the yeah. space left behind. I mean, we, we considered not getting the water heater for that reason. Okay. But we wanted to have hot water. Yeah. We, <laughs> we went without hot water for too long. It has its advantages. Yeah. <laughs> so, since there's no gray tank, You've got a little Six blue, yeah. Yeah. blue boy with a little hose that connects because yeah. it's it's like ours. The only gray water is what comes out of that little tiny sink. Yeah. So yeah. there's not a lot. No, it's not. And if you know, we, we yeah, it's it's good to to kind of capture it. If yeah, you can, and then to but to stay legal in places yeah. that that where you have to do this exactly for sure. This is also something you added, a little PVC tube. Yeah, this is... Um, to hold like a little foam or a flag or... <laughs> yeah, basically an extendable painter's pole that to uh -huh. run an antenna on top. Yeah. So um, it keeps it somewhat steady. And then I can clamp a C-clamp on here. Um, there's a notch back here that you can't see. But it clamps the pole to the side of the PVC, so oh, it will rotate. the existing pole. Yep. And then you just change out the nut bolt. Yep, just longer stainless fasteners. Mm -hmm. They do make a cover for the front for somebody who doesn't want exposed propane tanks. Yeah. Um, Although but it's steep. It's a little expensive. It's a little steep. It's like 150 bucks for a piece of. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what gauge steel panel. And I think I think our time in, in on the coast. Uh, oh yeah, month, you think this is all from just, just being on the coast? Of, yeah. Surface yeah, rust. Just a little surface rust, but. Right. Not much you can do. I mean, what could you do? I'm, I'm thinking, what I, I guess maybe in the future, if I really cared, I could probably get some of that, like, door edge guards that you oh, put yeah, on and right. maybe run that around. But Maybe put a, you know, just a thin layer of grease mm -hmm. in it. So and then it set that up. Yeah, it. that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. But um, I cool. love this thing. I mean, we as much as we use it for odds and ends, it's been fantastic. So. I really want one. Marling's not convinced that we need one. Yeah. But I'm okay to go with the other mods for now. So the mods that we're going to do, that you've done, are the three inch lift, the scissor jacks, and I think that's it. And then the one that we're going to do that you haven't done is the hitch. Yeah. The bike hitch. So we'll yeah. see how that goes. Yeah, that's on our radar for sure. I think that'd be great to get the bikes off the roof. Yeah. Um, so the, the thing that's important to note is the jacks are kind of necessary when you do the lift, right? Because the standard jacks in the back wouldn't even reach the ground otherwise. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of what we found. And um, I, I struggled a little bit with the, the standard stabilizer jacks that come on there. They're, they're not meant for, you know, really any load. You just kind of set them and leave them. Right. We, we I broke think ours they can pretty do quick. Like a couple hundred pounds. Yeah, 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 we broke ours pretty quick. So um, coming from a 43 foot diesel pusher, we were used to something steady. Yeah. <laughs> so this has been right. kind of nice. It doesn't, doesn't wiggle as like much. It rocks back and forth. <laughs>
Well, you know, they got to the point with our airstream where we never put stabilizers down. Yeah. <laughs> and the kids would go thump, 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 yeah. thump, thump, and down. <laughs> the whole thing would shake. I, I can see that going down. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Sure. Yeah. I'm looking forward to have my casita look a little bit more like yours. <laughs> <laughs>